Well, good day again, folks. I'm just about to um, start uh, vacuum sealing my meat. I went to Costco yesterday and bought a load of meat, which I do quite often. And uh, I'll give you a bit of a look what we got. That's chicken breasts. There's uh, 2.331 kilos there. There's chicken thigh fillets. Uh, there, there's their uh, two, two kilos and 74 grams. Now this is the bargain of the day. The uh, lamb loin. Look at them for lamb loin chops. Not bad. Um, 1.684 kilos, $19 a kilo, $18.99 a kilo. That's cheap, it's usually about 27 or even 30 The mince is always good value, that's $9.99 a kilo, and it's very, very good mince. I, uh, I've been getting my some mince, I've been trying the new butchers, and uh, his mince is very good. It's as good as this but it's not better and it's, uh, it's nearly twice the price so uh, I'm back to uh, buying this from Costco because now there's three kilos and 46 grams I'll get six 500 gram bags out of that and I'll keep one out for tonight because we're having curry, mince and rice and uh, the dog will get some too <laughs> And uh, these, um, we'll be having two each for a meal, and we've got three meals there. Uh, 18 uh, chops. I'm not keen on them, to be honest. If I'm going to have a chop, it's, these are the ones I want. I like um, lamb leg, a leg of lamb. Uh, if it's cooked properly. It can be tough if you're not careful. Anyway, I'll bring you back when it, when it's all packed and um, these are my machines. That's one machine. That's uh, a sunbeam. And this, this one here is an older machine. But I cut the uh, lens I cut the lens I want with this one and uh, I use them both I um, I always seal twice so I seal once on this one and then I seal seal again on this one that's top and bottom so they get four seals two on the top and two on the bottom and then uh, I'm sure that they're not gonna blow up you know um, like they do and suck air or no whatever anyway I'll bring you back soon okay folks we're all done we've got it all sorted we've got quite a bit of meat there we've got um, one one two three four five packets of mince six packets of mince but we're having that one tonight and that's for the dog that was left over we've got one two one Sorry, one, two, three, four by two chicken breasts, uh, three by two chicken breasts, and one by one chicken breasts. We've got chicken thighs here, we've got uh, four by four, we've got three by six lamb loin, and uh, that should last us for a while. So uh, that's all labelled and dated and each meat we have, we have pork, beef, lamb and chicken they all have their uh, dedicated raw so it, all, it never gets mixed up and uh, we use it by the use by date which I put on now the 20th of the 10th because I got it yesterday I didn't put today's date on, I put yesterday's date on okay so uh, all I've got to say now is 
thanks for watching the video or you enjoy it um, if you like it put a like on it uh, consider subscribing to my channel and um, feel free to share the video with your friends or if you like it and um, leave a comment let me know how you buy your meat now you cut it up and what you do with it or do you just like a few of my friends do they buy it every day and that's fine too I've got a maid who won't eat it if it's been in the freezer <laughs> he's a Queenslander though <laughs> and uh, he never ate meat that was come out of the freezer I don't know why because I've never had a problem with it and uh, I found if it's packed properly and there's no air around it that's why I um, vacuum seal it, it it's just, just like buying it fresh as far as I'm concerned but each to his own and uh, thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care and uh, like I normally say um, Tara I'll catch you in the next one if I can turn it off <laughs>